So a while back here on the channel we looked into where the name of Canada came from. So while we already know the origins of this nation's name, today we're going to be digging a little deeper into the names within this country. Canada is a country split into 10 provinces and 3 territories. All of course have names, from names as well known to people as the name of Canada itself like Quebec and Ontario, to more curious sounding names like Prince Edward Island, to pretty obvious to understand names like Northwest Territories. What's also interesting is how while Canada is a country of two official languages, English and French. The name for a lot of these provinces and territories come from a different tongue, that tongue being the languages of the native people of Canada. So let's look at how these provinces and territories of Canada got their names. So let's start with the names of the provinces of Canada that have names that derive from the native peoples of Canada. First we have the most populated province in Canada, home to its largest city Toronto and the country's capital Ottawa. This is of course the province of Ontario. The province of Ontario is named after Lake Ontario. This name comes from the Iroquois language word Canada Dario, and it's thought to mean things such as beautiful lake, great lake, or sparkling water. So yeah, Lake Ontario's name can be translated as Lake Great Lake. Next to Ontario, we have the province of Quebec. This is a name of Algonquin origin. Like Ontario, its name also relates to water, as it's thought to mean a narrow passage or strait, relating to how the St. Lawrence River would start to narrow where the city of Quebec would stand. Two names of provinces of Canada come from the Cree language, those being Manitoba and Saskatchewan. With Manitoba, we have another province named after a lake, that of course being Lake Manitoba. It's believed Manitoba comes from the Cree term man into Wapawa, which means the narrows of the Great Spirit, due to how it narrows more in the centre. Saskatchewan is too Cree, and named after a body of water, though a river this time, not a lake. It's believed to mean swift flowing river. The Yukon Territory is too named after a river, the Yukon River, which resides in not only Canada but makes its way into Alaska too. It's thought this name comes from the lower Tanana word, Yukuna, which means a big river. The most the northern territory of Canada is Nunavut, which not only includes a huge part of mainland Canada, but also many of the islands in northern Canada, and more or less borders Greenland. The name comes from the Inuit language Inuttutut, and means our land, so residents of Nunavut might say, Nunavut is our land, and you're having none of it. Seeing as we just talked about two of the territories of Canada, we might as well explain the name of the third territory now. <clears throat> The Northwest Territory is called this as it's in the Northwest of Canada. So aside from indigenous names, the key source we have for names of Canadian provinces come from the tea sipping, forever moaning, name explaining British. You're welcome. Some of these names however might not seem that British at first glance, like with Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. Nova Scotia is actually Latin and means New Scotland, which is something we discussed all the way back in the New United Kingdom video, named by Sir William Alexander when he received the land in 1621. William was a Scotsman, so named this land as the new version of his home. Brunswick is a name that sounds suspiciously German, and that's because it's the anglicised name of the German town of Braunschweig. So why does this province in Canada with a German name have the British to thank for this? Well when it was founded it was named in honour of King George III, who also held the title Duke of Brunswick. New Brunswick of course isn't the only province to be named in honour of British royalty. Canada was part of the British Empire remember, and the Empire just loved naming things after the royal family. There's Alberta too, which was named after Queen Victoria's fourth daughter, Princess Louise Caroline Alberta, and of course Prince Edward Island, named unsurprisingly after Prince Edward. British Columbia was already known somewhat as just Columbia, but the British part was added by Queen Victoria when it became a colony in 1859. The Columbia part of the name comes from the Columbia River, which wasn't named after Christopher Columbus but rather the ship, the Columbia Redaviva. Finally we have the one province with two names, Labrador and Newfoundland. These names differ from the rest as they are of Portuguese origin. The name Newfoundland should be pretty easy to interpret. When it was discovered it was some new found land. Labrador however comes from the surface name of Portuguese explorer João Fernandes Lavrador, which over time became just Labrador. But of course the most important thing about all this is that these two names were used as names of two dog breeds, those of course being the Newfoundland and the Labrador, both of which are very good boys indeed. The Canadian provinces were suggested by Elizabeth Westner and Robert Fiddies over on Patreon, and thanks to their suggestions they will now be honoured as Name Explains Patron Saints of the Canadian provinces. If you want to become a Name Explained Patron Saint, then why not support the channel over on Patreon? Just a dollar and up earns you the chance to suggest a country or geographical location for the next Patreon Saint video.
And of course, thank you to all my patrons. These extra Tuesday videos are dedicated to all of the awesome people who make Name Explain possible. So if you enjoy these videos and want to be a greater part of our Name Explain community, then why not support the channel? Just $2 a month gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you.